All right, we're going to put a thread base on. Let me get my... Uh, there we go. Something in my way there. I'm going to change this up just a little bit. I don't know if the legs are really necessary or not, but uh, I'm going to go from marabou to bucktail. I might include hackle here. Um, I'm thinking I might leave the legs off of this too, but we're going to be tying that out of a earplug and pick them up at Walmart. Squishy little earplug, but it's a uh, closed cell foam. It's very buoyant. It goes back to its shape pretty quick. I tried using a razor blade to cut these, but my my uh, craft store scissors seem to do a better job of getting the slit that I need out of these because this kind of foam is hard to hard to cut or hard to get a slit in but it, that's the way I've been doing it I haven't been uh, hooking it through with the with the hook because I, I put a thread base on and I tie some other materials on first before I put this on so just putting a slit through it And to get the color I want, uh, I'm using fingernail polish. The kind I have right now is a lacquer. And all this stuff you can find at Walmart. Well, not the bucktail. <laughs> there. I think I got the slit where I need it. Just kind of cut a slit through the one side I kind of go I try to go about half halfway up which it's not quite half right there I've, it's not the prettiest fly but I'm sure it's gonna be a effective one okay so now I'm gonna Get this thread on here. I put a good enough thread base that uh, when you go to glue this, it, the glue's got something to bind to the foam. And I go to the bend of the hook. I'm using a Mustad uh, Let me get my hook here. I'm using a Mustad streamer hook, size two. I'm about out. But uh, I could use a little bit thicker thread for this fly, but uh, this, I'm using what I have right now. I got uni thread, um, eight aught white, but. Uh, you know what, I might not do bucktail, I might just use uh, marabou like I have been. Why so change something you already know? And uh, I don't wanna use a ton. It's a little easier to manipulate. And I'm not, it doesn't have to be a super long tail. I mean, it is a surface fly, so this isn't something that's going to be.
Just give it a little tug. It's not slipping, so cut the excess. Throw up my little bin there. Now, I've been putting uh, this crystal flash on here. Kind of give it a little bit of shine against the sun and get a bass's attention or crappie or um, got a lot of bluegill and long ear sunfish here. And they'll probably tear this up, so. I do right along the side of the shank here. Make sure that's on there good. And I cut it a little bit longer than the marabou feather. Just a hair. I mean, it doesn't have to be, doesn't matter, you can do what you want, but. Gonna have just a little bit of flare in the water. Okay. Um, the last one of these I did that I put hackle on, um, I actually found it was a little bit easier to put the hackle That's on before. Right That's a bucktail, Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tail from a buck, buddy, or 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 a doe. Uh, Daddy. What? Uh, this is a part of a butt. Yeah, it's right above the butt. <laughs> oh, you're silly. Uh, what's this from? Same thing. That's a buck tail. It's just a dyed one. That one's orange. Oh, these are buck tails. No, that is crap fur. Is this a bucktail? That is a bucktail, yes. I got a lot of bucktails. Is this a bucktail? Right, Daddy uses those for craft, uh, for clousers. That is a uh, craft fur. Craft fur? Craft fur. You got a bunch of bucktails. <laughs> yeah. I'll tie different colors. Here's the orange butt tail. I am a left-handed tire, so. You're a left-handed tire. I am. Daddy, I want to see the Avengers. You want to see the Avengers? Huh? You said you want to see the Avengers? I said, play the Avengers. Oh, okay. Play with the toys of Iron Man. Mm-hmm. He's stuck. He's Avengers. See? Mm -hmm. These. These Avengers, say. Eh? Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> I pulled my feather off. I mean, I don't put a lot on this. And really, dry fly hackle might be a better thing to use. But, uh, I, know, I think this one will work pretty good. I'll just kind of wiggle through there to kind of keep it from catching any of these. And voila, we're out of the woods. Cut this excess off. There you go. Now, 
I'm gonna fold this hackle back and bring my thread right up to the edge of it. There we go. I've been using this uh, Gorilla Glue. It's got a brush on it, but I kind of glued the cap on, so now I'm just kind of squeezing it out like a normal super glue, but. Put a little bit of super glue on there. Kind of spread it out just to kind of cover everything. That thread base will make sure it sticks really good. I've been starting at the back. get that on there kind of hold it in place for a minute might have got a little shy on the marabou feathers but that's okay I've got some that got a lot of marabou. I've got some that don't have a lot of marabou. Like this one here, I, I put quite a bit of marabou on there. I'm going to experiment with some bucktail later. But uh, here's one. It's still kind of wet from me testing it in my sink. But you can put a lot more marabou on there if you want. Or whatever tail material i'm sure craft fur will work fine um if you got some synthetic frog legs that would be pretty good um buck tails i mean olive and orange or white or whatever you want to use all right we're going to i'm going to do a couple of loose wraps here I get some more thread out and now I'm gonna kind of tighten them up as I go to kind of taper this earplug a little bit like I said it's it's not a very pretty fly but I have a feeling this will be a good small mouth or or largemouth. I'm sure a largemouth will smash it too. Just a good frog pattern. A couple of tight wraps. When we're done with the thread. We can go ahead and whip finish it. I put a lot on there because I'm paranoid. And this is a pretty thin thread, so it's not going to build a ton of on a fly this size, it's not going to build a ton of mass to the back there, so. Cut that. What I might do, I actually cut this deeper than my other ones. Eh, that'll be fine. Yeah, you can see I kind of have a gap there. I, most of the ones I've done, I haven't had that big of a gap, but I'm sure you can glue that back together, but I'm going to leave it because I don't really need to. So I'm using nail polish to paint these. Just a lacquer nail polish. We are going to... Give this some, some life. So here we go, we're gonna, I kinda go just above where the hook guy is in relation to the belly of this 
So I'm gonna paint the bottom of it white. I thought about doing black too, but I think since we're imitating a frog, just about every frog I've ever caught has a white belly, so. Um, now some of these I've put squiggly arms on, or not squiggly arms, <laughs> rubber legs on. Um, and I just use a sewing needle with a really thick eye to put that on. I'm not putting them on this one. And I'm pretty sure since this is a lacquer, once it dries, it should stay on pretty good. And it being nail polish, it dries pretty fast. If you like that color, it is um, at Walmart. I believe I got it there is a professional nail lacquer neon pop what's the color here show me the money is the color oh focus Well, for some reason that's not focusing, but it says, uh, show me the money. 539 is the number, but it's the Salon Perfect brand. Um, I like that color. I think it looks pretty froggy to me. Now we're gonna, got oh, right about the hook eye, just above it, where is where our line is. Let it dry, you gotta blow on it a little bit. I was hoping that brand had white, but they didn't, so I picked up a different one, which it's not as a, uh, it's a little, a little more watered down than this one, but this is the SC, it's, it's a lacquer. So it should hold up pretty good. Should. And I'm just gonna kinda go along that line. Pretty easy to do with these brushes. Try to cover up the orange the best I can, but it's uh, not that big a deal. Because along, along that line where the colors meet, I'm going to use a black Sharpie to draw a line. a little tacky but it's not it's pretty close to being that white just had a little bit of wet spots there where it was a little thicker On some of these, I've put two coats on, but this coat looks pretty good, so I might just leave it at that. Then we'll take a black Sharpie. Where did I put my Sharpie? There it is. And I'll carefully draw. Yeah. 
a one along the side there. My marker is just slightly dried out. It's there you go, we have a black line on both sides. I, I like to put eyes on my stuff. I mean, they're not fancy and the fish don't care, but I got eyes on my popper. And that's it. That's a, that's an earplug pop, popper. Not super hard. Very cheap heads. And with that flat orange face there, it should make a pretty awesome action in the water so and you can modify it as much as you want put different colors on the tail here or do whatever hope this was a good video enjoy